Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm talking about uh, the part two of online movie ticket booking system. So first of all, create a class library project for uh, a file upload control. You can do uh, in the project also, but uh, I think uh, I design the um, file upload control in the uh, in the separate. Uh, I, I mean to say the class library so delete the existing uh, class and create a interface first because uh, I use dependency injection in the project so use uh, a interface that is upload interface okay and the default is internal so make public first of first and in this class library project, I design a, a simple file upload control with the multiple files, selecting multiple files. So you can use upload, uh, file upload, uh, create a method simple upload file multiple, I list I form file. Uh, I use here I list iPhone file it means a list of files you can select I mean to say select multiple files from your computer okay so if you want to design for uh, you want to design file upload control for the single file selection so use it here iPhone file only rather than I list okay so I select for the multiple files so use iPhone file I'll list of iPhone files okay actually the file iPhone file is not existing in the project so uh, add a new git package that's, that is asp.net core asp.net core microsoft.asp.net core.sgtp and there is and install it it's easy to install this uh, file okay now after doing this you can resolve this issue by using control dot key pressing control dot key and intelligence will show and resolve this using statements okay that's fine now after doing this you can add a new repository class so the class name is upload file wrapper okay so the class name is upload file repository as is implemented with the upload interface so resolve this implement interface and in so first of all make a constructor so ctur and use double tab key to uh, make the body of the constructor okay uh, also uh, in this uh, code i will use i hosting environment variable so use i hosting environment actually i hosting environment is not available at here so you can use dot key that is not available so also add a new bucket package So add a new get package ASP.NET Core dot uh, Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot hosting is the name of your package. Install it and use it dot hosting. Okay, that's fine. And agree this and after install this package, you can use it. Use control dot again. Yeah, using Microsoft ASP.NET Core dot hosting. 
and add a variable that is hosting environment. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, in the constructor, you can pass that uh, object as a local parameter i hosting environment to the class variable just copy this and paste it here okay now in the function upload file multiple you have a multiple file so you must to use a for each loops to treat those one by one files and also use file stream class to read the file and create a web path root files as well also you can uh, calculate the total bytes of the file by using files dot sum sum actually is not existing here so use system dot link namespace just use control dot key f dot length you can find the total uh, length of the uh, file so after that you can use in the um, form uh, you can government form like the image size and the image length as, as well as so i form file for items in files item is the source so use item dot file name and what the file name it is the single file name i i want to say the stream is the double quotations use uh, a uh, byte of array that is called buffer okay so use file stream class that is existing in system dot io namespace output equals to system dot io dot file dot create create a directory also this dot uh, create a uh, method get path uh, and file name and in which you can pass the file name okay so first of all generate a method stuff for this uh, get path and file name that method generate the path as well as uh, of the file name in the file stream after that output will save in the stream so stream input equals to item dot open read streams i want to read the file so using long total that is actually there is no needed but if you want to read the total length of the file you can use it otherwise uh, this is useless okay read bytes read bytes dot is double equals to input dot read and what that is the byte that is stored in the buffer so buffer dot zero dot buffer dot length oops oh, use await keywords output dot write asynchronously and what buffer zero read bytes that is buffer uh, is the byte type array zero psi, uh, index number and the read bytes that is input dot read methods total bytes is plus equals to read bytes okay in the get path and the file name you can store the path that is use i hosting environment hosting environment dot web root path is ww root so use in which you can create automatically that is uploads if not exist so check it directory dot exist 
that is path if not exist then uh, create it first and return the path with the file name so directory dot create directory with the path and return the path as well as the file name okay that's fine so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to this uh, project part that is uh, earlier designed so thank you very very much for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos thank you very much for watching